Good morning, folks. Welcome back. It's John Petty Paw and it's Rise and Shine. It's 6.28 in the morning on Sunday morning, which is the sixth day of March. Two weeks of spring. Oh, duh. Two weeks of spring from this Sunday morning. Now, oil. Everybody's talking about the price of diesel. Everybody's pr talking about the price of gasoline and heat and oil and so on. And like they should. Now, why is oil so high? Well, yesterday morning, local radio station, plus this in the paper and other news media, Newfoundland. And I'm recording, by the way, from track of the Anakinish County, Nova Scotia, Canada. So, but Canada's oil prices are especially high, okay? Now, interestingly, Canada, anybody's paying attention to the facts, to the facts, Canada is the third largest oil producer in the world. Au de toi. The third largest oil producer in the world is Canada, okay? Or by uh, the reserves, the reserves, third largest reserves and produces uh, Roughly 5 million barrels of oil a day. It's not the third largest producer, but it has the third largest oil reserves in the world. Okay? So Canada. You have Canada. Now, Nova Scotia is part of Canada. Now, this is Newfoundland. There's a beautiful project off of Newfoundland, ready to go, the reserves are approved, and the company has the capital and the technical wherewithal, and ready to roll, this expression says. They're ready to roll. The hard hats are there, and the capital and ability to produce is, is there. Now, there's a group of environment, environmentalists. Oh, it's the Ecology Action Center. It's eco Eco-justice. You see, they send out the fancy little cards, greeting cards, and send them to the nation, and you get to keep their greeting cards. Blah, blah, blah. Okay? There's a hundred... This is from yesterday morning, Saturday the 5th, and we report the stuff that happened late last week. God's day today. It's the first day of the week. Now, 118 groups sent a petition to the Federal Minister of Environment, your Canadian Federal Minister of Environment that has to sign off on allowing this oil project off of Newfoundland to go ahead. And 118 environmental groups said, no, don't do it. So the minister, he's minister, supposed to be Minister of Environment for Canada. That's his title. He's the Federal Minister of Environment for Canada. But no, 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 he's not. He's the Federal Minister of Environment for Special Interest. And he's decided he's going to take another 40 days. It's interesting we're in the, the most holy season of Lent. Uh -huh. And you're going to have 40 days. He's, he's going to take another 40 days to decide on the company's application. Now, when the application is approved, it doesn't, assuming it is or isn't, Final decision is rendered. Uh, they take and uh, assuming it's positive. Maybe it's not. Nothing, nothing can surprise you with this this crew we have here. Nothing can surprise you. But even if it is approved, it doesn't just oil doesn't just start flowing magically, like most of the desert tap the tap the rock and and water water flowed forward to to quench the thirst the thirsty people. Doesn't work like that, folks. Uh, the the whole project must develop takes months, weeks, months, uh, even years, okay? Not certain this particular project, this particular of it, but it doesn't just happen like Moses in the desert tapping the, the stone to make the, the rock, the, the water produce rock flow down the miracle of God to, to quench the people's thirst again, I repeat. Now, so you have your Minister of Environment for Canada stalling or delaying or maybe even stopping. Now, interestingly, Canada is the, has the third largest oil reserves in the world, yet in eastern Canada, we import much of our oil. We get some from the, from, some from the beautiful oil fields of North Dakota, okay, in the Balkans. There's nice sweet oil. Okay, but a lot of it comes from overseas. 
Now, th this is criminal. This is ridiculous. So when you go to buy your coffee and your scratch wins and don't forget the ciggies and then you complain and give a nasty side comment to the one at the counter you're paying for your, your oil for, your gasoline or whatever. Uh, hey, if you had to buy there's luxuries, there's there's essentials, rather, there's essentials. There's a scratch and wins. Gonna have him. There's the coffee. Gonna have it. There's uh, there's the lot uh, the um, ciggies. Gotta have the ciggies. And then there's the luxuries. Luxuries like oil to fill up your vehicle. <laughs> it's luxury. Luxury. Anyway, you're living in the country, Canada, under the curly-headed pot pusher, Justin Trudeau. And backed by the NDP, the No Damn Party, and the Greens. And you're in the middle of the highest diesel prices this country's ever seen. And we must be very close to the highest gasoline prices it's ever seen. Okay. And you have your Federal Minister of Environment delaying a decision. By another a hundred, by another forty days, for a lovely project, Newfoundland that could make employment for the people, and make tax revenues for the coffers of Newfoundland and help the people out, and provide domestic produce oil, going to delay by another forty days because a hundred eighteen fucking bunch of environmental groups told them no. And by the way. The price of oil right now on Friday was $115 a barrel. And yes, it's gone up a great deal last week. But that's not the highest oil prices we've ever had. Back in the May and June and the summer of 2008, which is 14 years ago almost, we had $140 a barrel oil. But diesel was not $1.81 plus $6.87, I believe is the price this morning in Nova Scotia. Gasoline was not... Um, one sixty seven plus six a dollar seventy three. I think it is most it varies by sections in Nova Scotia. So dollar seventy, dollar eighty ish gas, gasoline and diesel prices. Prices weren't that high then. And it goes back to Texas. Texas. So if oil were to go to $140, $150, you'll then be paying. I made a video several weeks ago that I felt it was a reasonable chance that we'd see a two in front of the price of gasoline in this year, 2022. I think it was late. It was just around Christmas, New Year's. Then I made one about 10 days ago saying I was quite confident we'd see a two on the price. Well, if gas, if the price of a barrel oil goes to $140 like it was 14 years ago, or spikes at 150 or something, depends on Ukraine and a lot of factors, Okay, they take and uh, growing world, growing world, and supply and demand. You're not going to change supply and demand. Minister of Environment Justin Trudeau, Sleepy Joe, <coughs> Clement, 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 California, and all these environment luck cakes and tree huggers doesn't change the fact. Supply and demand. If 10 people want something, but there's only six of it, prices go up. Supply and demand, you are not going to change that. You will have, if oil goes $140, $150 a barrel, you'll probably see prices around $220, $230. And so I will have been low. My $2 estimate, it'll be $220, $230. And it goes to an extremely high. And by the way, Justin Trudeau, Curly Anna Potbusher, Pierre Elliott's. Uh, uh, foster son, Fidel Castro's boy, they take, he has a new tax, time's flying folks, I look at my calendar here, here we are, Sunday morning the 6th, on April 1st, there's going to be a new carbon tax coming on, so regardless of what happens, the price of oil in the world markets, commodities markets, financial markets, gasoline will go up due to new carbon tax. So anyway, that is why your gasoline in diesel is so high. It is. Environmentalists, 118 environmental groups can stall, delay, or possibly stop an oil project 
off in Newfoundland, and they're more important than 37 million Canadians, 37 plus million Canadians. So until you get a new government in, my dear friends, and I stand up to Vladimir Putin with brute force, you will all probability be paying more for oil, not less. It is supply and demand, and whether you like the tone of my video or not, or you love President Trump, or hate President Trump, or think that Pierre Elliott Trudeau is foster son, Justin Trudeau is such a fine cat, it doesn't matter. The price of oil is supply and demand, but the actions of, or inactions of Joe Biden, Clementine Camilla, Justin Trudeau, and your Minister Environment for Canada, that is what impacts the supply. And that is why you're paying the prices you're paying now. It depends on how the world turns. Sounds like a soap opera. We'll see what happens to price oil next number of days and weeks and months. So anyway, we live in interesting times. Get a good breakfast yourselves. All the best. God bless. This video will be uploaded later today. Thank you. It's shared far and wide. I'm, I'm certain to promote discussion. In the meantime, this is John Pennypaw, and I love oil. Thank you. Bye for now.